arts and crafts time again with dentures. Today we're going to try this disc denture reliner, denture reliner molding thing using hot water. This is what we're doing today. I am taking one for the team in my Facebook group. Well, I should say our Facebook group because it's, it's a lot of great, great fun. In our Facebook group, somebody left a comment if anybody ever used one of these and nobody did. And I'm like, uh, I'll take one for the team and get the thing and try it and make a video and you can watch it. And if you're not in our Facebook group, we have a lot of fun over there. We do. There's somebody that um, posts, she goes live once in a while. There's a lady that does that. Just talks about her dentures and it's a great time. It's a great time. And I let other creators post in there. It's just good. No hate, no hate, no nothing, no bad stuff. It's just a freaking lot of fun. All right. You ready for this? Here we go. Molds using hot water. So I've got water in my microwave right now heating up. And what you're supposed to do is put this thing in your top denture and pour the hot water on the thing. The thing, not your denture. So we're gonna do that now. Because these are my denture box dentures and because these fit so, so good, I brought out the big dogs, okay? These are my big dogs, really, they are they are big. These are my immediate dentures, and I thought, I'm gonna do this in this, these, this, these dentures, because they're so huge on me. It wouldn't be fair if I did them in these because they, they fit, fit really well. All right, in this denture already, there, oh, microwave side. There's a soft free line from the dentist, which is coming out and it's messed up, and here the dog's gonna bark soon. I, I can hear it. Hold on, let me go get that because it's gonna keep beeping. Okay, sorry. This has been soaking for months. Ever since I got my dentures, this and this have been soaking just in water. I cleaned them really good and we're gonna, let's just try this. Okay, I got all this stuff. You're supposed to have a metal utensil, got one. Um, this thing, which I should open, which it says don't put this in direct sunlight because it'll melt. And it's also reusable so yeah let's let's test this out so the denture goes in the water or the denture goes in the bowl this goes on the denture and that hot water goes on the thing and i'm supposed to hold it in place with the metal utensil and take it out with a metal utensil and then i got another and then form it and then form it let's just do this arts and crafts project number one getting this thing open scissors scissors all right, let's, I don't want to ruin this whole packaging business, so let's see if I can't just dig into it. There we go. We just... There it is. It's soft and it feels like plastic. That's what exactly what it feels like, a piece of plastic. Okay, into... So this goes here. Let me move my stuff. Oh, that's hot. This is gonna, I can, I can foresee this being a disaster. All right, this goes here and I'm supposed to hold it with this. I'm gonna use a spoon. How am I gonna do this? That thing's gonna come, all right. Well, we're just gonna, see. I would like it right, whatever, okay. Hold this. <laughs> I don't want it moving. All right, let me hold it right like that. Okay, can you see that? Now I'm going to pour this hot water over top this thing on my denture. And it's supposed to. Oh, good God. Oh, good grief. I don't foresee it. Oh, there. There it goes. Oh, so I heard something pop. Jeez, I hope it wasn't my denture. Although, I can tell you... Oh, this is sticking to the spoon. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's sticking to the spoon. I, I Ouch! I can tell you that my dentures have been through a lot. These are my immediate dentures, and they've been through it because if you've watched my channel, I've tested, like, lots of products. In All right. It doesn't say how long to leave this thing in there. And the daggone spoon is... Uh, look at that. Okay. I guess... It's... I think it's moldable. Alright. Then you take it out of the hot water. And then you're supposed to be able to... Oh, look. It's not extremely hot right now. 
okay, I see it. I see this happening. And then when it cools down, you put this thing in your mouth. You don't ever want to put anything in your mouth that's burning hot. That, that would be bad. And I could probably tell you, okay, while this is still warm, mm, let me put uh, the big thing in. All right, you ready? I, it doesn't say for how long it will it did say watch the video, but I didn't do that. We're winning this. It's warm in my mouth, but not hot. It's not terrible. There it is. These dentures on me are really big. But, if you have dentures that... I gotta take them out. If you have dentures that are just a little bit too big, just a little bit too big, This you saw how easy this was to do. I thought this was going to be a gimmick, okay? I did. This is not made to last in your denture. Here's why I would use this, okay? If you're new at this, or, or not new at this, and your dentures are just now starting to get too big, this, this is easier to use than cushion grip, I can tell you, because you saw how easy it was. I just applied it all over. And I have a feeling that it's going to last as long as cushion grip does in your denture. But... This is remoldable, so it says. Let's try that. Let's let's see if we can remold this. I'm gonna put this back in hot water. All right, let me get the hot water back. There goes the dog. Okay, that's hot, warm to touch. I can touch it. Let's put the denture back in and see if we can't get it out. I'm gonna add some more of this hot water because it's still hot. I wanna see how easy this is to come out and see if we can re remold this and reapply it. Ouch. Because I know when you use cushion grip, you can't do that. Look. Okay, okay. Is this crazy or what? This is coming out. I don't know why you'd have to remold it unless it moved around. This is about how the cushion grip comes out. Probably if I used a toothpick or something, it'd come out easier. All right, I'm gonna put it back in. So I'm just, I'm just gonna leave that in there because I'm just gonna just put that back in there anyway. So okay. So these are getting harder again. This is. Let's see what happens. Arts and crafts with Michelle and her washer going. My washer's going, I know. Now, I'm gonna see if I can take this out of here and just put it back in here without. It's not terrible to touch. Oh my, yes, you can. Probably. Now is when I would put it back in the hot water. This is crazy. Alright, if I keep working with this, I'm going to be able to get it all where it was, where the disc actually was. Kind of. I mean, if you want to put it in the hot water and keep working with it, let's put this back in my mouth. Honest, you guys, I thought this product was going to be like, yeah, okay. It's remolding. It remolded. Now, because my denture is so big, I would have to put adhesive with this. You might have to put adhesive with it too. But I am over a year, last June 2021, I had all my teeth pulled out. So it's... November of 2022 so you know how big these dentures are so if your dentures are slightly too big try this I mean give it a try if you tried everything in the world and you can't figure it out try this do I recommend this thing yes I do if you're new at this and and you want to just try it 
I'm going to put up how much it was here. I have a link to my Amazon shop down in my description. I'll put this in there. It worked. It did what it said it was going to do. It snugged up my denture. If your dentures are so huge and big, don't buy it. it, it it'll be too big for you. Use something else. I like ProSoft Denture Reline. I did a video. It's under $20. It lasts up to like two years. It's uh, soft. I like it. It's just as good as Denture Fit, if not better, because I tried both of them. I, I prefer the Pro Soft, plus the price is great. And this is really weird talking in. All right, I'll see you in my next video.